What's up guys, it's Jay with Bearded Dad Fishing and today I'm sharing with you my top 25 favorite kayak fishing accessories. I've used all of these over the last three years and they've made my time on the water more productive, more efficient, and more comfortable. So make sure you watch all the way through to the end. But first, dad joke of the day. When does a joke become a dad joke? When it becomes apparent. All right, guys, we're gonna jump right into this list with number one, which is a life jacket or a PFD. So this is not even optional in my opinion, this is required. Like you, this should be your next purchase right after you buy your kayak. So this is an NRS Chinook OS. So this is a fishing life jacket. It has the pockets, it has the high back so it can go over your kayak seat, which is great. Uh, I won't go into all the specifics of it since we're covering a lot of items today, but this is a really comfortable one and I've enjoyed it. I bought it for about 160 bucks two years ago. Uh, so that's one style of, of life jacket you can have. The other style is the inflatable style, which is like this. This one's from Onyx and it has an automatic feature where if it senses that you fell into the water, it'll auto inflate. And it also has a manual feature where if you just pull on this tab here, it'll blow up in the water and every time it does that you just have to get a recharging kit which is about 20 bucks so it's really not that bad so life jacket definitely get it number one and as a reminder all of the item links are down below in the description so make sure you check them out there item number two is a fishing net this will help you land your fish once you get into the kayak i got this one for 25 bucks at the clearance department of bass pro a couple years ago they're generally more expensive. They could be anywhere from $30, $40 to $100. You can get folding ones. You can get this a one like this, which is collapsible. I like this one because this fits right into the flush mounted rod holder of my kayak. But make sure you get yourself a fishing net. Item number three is a kayak cart. All right, this is super important if you're transporting your kayak over any distance. This is the Wilderness Systems heavy duty kayak cart. It's about $220 on Amazon. And you can get all types of carts, all types of quality of carts online, anywhere from $25, $40, all the way to $400. So this is, the, to me, this is the gold standard of a kayak cart. It can hold up to 450 pounds, which you'll never have a 450 pound kayak, but loaded up with my gear and everything, my, my kayak's easily 150 pounds. And you want this, you want it to hold up to whatever kayak you have across whatever distance you have to go. So if I have to go 100 yards, this is gonna make it as effortless and efficient a process as possible. So make sure you invest in a good kayak cart. And this is, again, the Wilderness Systems HD cart. Item number four is a magnetic lure dish. So I actually made this modification myself. I just drilled a quarter inch hole right in the center. And this dish you could find anywhere, by the way, on Amazon or in a, at a hardware store. So I drilled the quarter inch hole, attached this uh, T-bolt that you can buy online and a wing nut and I can slide it right onto my rail, tighten it. And what it does is it just holds my lures for the day. So you see that it doesn't come off. So whenever I'm out there and I'm done with the lure, I just toss it in there and toss it in there. And then instead of having to focus on taking lures out and putting lures in, I keep them in here until I'm done for the day and then I can put them all away at the same time. We're on number five, and this one's jumping into the deep end a little bit, but that is a fish finder. So a fish finder will make your time in the water more effective and efficient, but there's a lot of area to cover with these things. So I'm not gonna go through any of it here in this video, but you can go from a $100 fish finder all the way to a thousand, two thousand dollars or more. The important thing to know is that even if you get a $100 fish finder, it helps you on the water because it tells you your water depth, your water temperature and what structures underneath. So it helps you in targeting the fish if you know that you have a log under you or if you're on some grass mats. Uh, so it's very helpful and you can pick one that fits your budget and it will still help you out there on the water. As a reminder, all the items that we're going over has links in the description below. So make sure you check them out. Item number six is a pair of lip grips, lip grabbers, lippers, whatever you want to call them. So these plastic ones especially, uh, they don't corrode and they float, which is awesome in case they spill over. You don't have to worry about losing them. And what they allow you to do is that you can control the fish without worrying about getting too close to their teeth. 
So it's great for walleye or musky, trout, whatever it is. You can just grab the bottom lip of the fish and then work out the hooks with the other hands. Item number seven is a seat cushion. So you wanna keep your buns nice and comfortable in your kayak. And if you're out there for six, eight, 10 hours at a time, if you have an uncomfortable seat, that's almost impossible to be comfortable for that long. So even on my old town sportsman, it's a really comfortable seat, but I still carry this on there. Uh, it gives you just a little bit more cushion. And this is just a kneeling pad that I bought from a hardware store. It's not specialized for this purpose in any way, but it works. And it was probably like 20 bucks. Now, if you're really feeling froggy and you want a, the most comfortable experience, Purple, who makes purple mattresses, has a seat cushion that's about $100, $120, bucks, give or take. And it is the most like comfort you can offer your buns on the kayak. So whatever you get, just make sure you get a cushion so it makes your time on the water more enjoyable. Item number eight will help you from losing your phone. So this is a rogue fishing phone tether and it's the silicone. It just wraps right around your phone. Any phone case that you have, it wraps right around there and it has a stretchy tether with a key ring uh, that you can either put on your life jacket or attach it to your kayak, whatever it is. But knowing how expensive phones are, uh, this is really a, a, not a bad investment. It was only $20, and even though your phone's waterproof, it probably doesn't float, so get yourself a phone tether. Item number nine is a rod float. So while eight saves your phone, these save your rods. If they fall into the water, uh, this rod float will make sure they stay floating. And unlike a leash, you know, a leash, if you leash down your rods, every time you go to grab it, you have to unleash it, reach behind you. It's really a pain in the butt. So these are so cheap. Bass Pro has three of them for like seven bucks, or you can buy them online on Amazon. They're a little bit more, but still cheap. And it's just a piece of foam that you wrap around the base of your rod and some zip uh, uh, Velcro that you can put on there to tighten it up. So I wouldn't risk going out. You have 100, 200, 300, dollar combos don't cheap out and not get one of these because you might regret it before we get to item number 10 just a reminder if you're not part of the group jump over to facebook and join kayak fishing dads have a ton of guys on there that offer great advice share their photos share their videos so join the conversation again it's called kayak fishing dads so let's get to number 10 and that is a 360 light so this is a 360 light from yak attack and it has the orange flag reflective stripe, the light that's just a twist on, twist off type of motion, which is really nice. And then the bottom. So uh, this serves as like a floating base and it has your T, your T bolt that just slides right onto your rail and then you spin it to tighten it. So this flag is really nice. Again, in most states, it's a requirement if you're out on the water, uh, either before sunrise or after sunset. So it's, it's just not a bad thing to have uh, safety wise. And for as far as practicality, Yak Attack makes one of the best items. So it can break down real easy. The whole base just breaks down as such. And the cool thing is you can take off this flag and it doubles as a bag. So you just put it all in there and it tucks away real nice and neat and it's out of your way. So just like that, you have your whole flag in here and it's out of the way and ready for the use next time. Number 11 is the Yak Power Relay Switch. Now this effectively connects to your battery and it allows you to independently control the power to up to five different items. So you can put your fish finder, your bow lights, your stern lights, power pole, phone charger, whatever you want to these ends. Uh, it's really not a hard install. I did my installation last year. So if you have questions about it, I'll make sure I'll put it in the description below uh, the link to my video. The install went great and the best thing about this is that it lets you customize your kayak to exactly what your needs are next up is simply a scale so this is a Rapala scale there's tons of scales out there they'll allow you to weigh your fish and compete with your friends uh, that's about it simple but I always keep one with me on my kayak number 13 instead of weighing your catch will measure your catch. So this is the catch board from catch. And this thing is awesome. It's super heavy duty. It's made in America. And it's, uh, it's the standard for measuring boards here. So any tournament that you join, 
will allow you to use catch boards if it's a kayak fishing tournament. It's aluminum, so if it falls into the water, it's gonna sink down quick, but it does have a port where you can tether it up to your kayak, which I highly recommend, so you don't end up losing this, but it's a great piece of equipment to have, especially if you're planning on joining uh, kayak tournaments. And number 14 is a paddle holder. So this is a double paddle holder from Yak Hacker, which is an Amazon-based company. Uh, Yak Attack also has these available under a different name, but it allows you to, it slides on right onto the rail with this T-bolt and it allows you to put your, uh, your paddle right, right there and having two of them will allow it to, uh, to lock it in place because they do sell just the one, but it just wobbles and it doesn't balance very well. Another thing that it's awesome for is for holding your catch board. So it, it actually is the perfect size and I know it's not made for it, but it's an awesome way to keep it on there. And especially if you keep this thing tethered on, it's good to go. So it locks right in place and gives you a great mounting solution for your catch board or for your paddle. And number 14 is a rod holder. So this is great for trolling. If you wanna troll in your kayak, this is the perfect solution for that. This is the Omega rod holder from Yak Attack. It's also a good option if you don't have flush mounted rod holders or if you're not bringing a crate with you, you could put two of these on your kayak on your rails and just keep keep it as storage for your rods uh, these are about 40 bucks but they're very useful and you can find them almost anywhere and number 16 is probably one of my favorite items i know it sounds stupid but if your kayak doesn't come with a cup holder you need a cup holder so again this one is from yak hacker it has a t-bolt on the bottom that you slide on your rail and you can put your cup holder anywhere that you want it so it's big enough that you can put a big old yeti in there or bring your coffee. I'm huge with drinking coffee in the water. So if you don't have a cup holder already in your kayak, you can't miss this one. Number 17 is the Donkey Leash by Cal Coast Fishing. So if you're gonna do kayak fishing tournaments, I would highly recommend this. What this allows you to do is, if you, once you catch your fish and you net them and bring them on board, you just cinch this down, just like the lippers on the bottom lip. It cinches, it catches down and it doesn't open. Then you can put them in the water while this is tied off on your kayak somewhere secure. So that way, once you put them in the water, you can get your catch board out, get your identification card out, open your camera app, and get ready to take the picture for your tournament. So if you're getting into tournament fishing on a kayak, this is a must have. And number 18 is a kayak cooler. So there's a lot of different options of these. This one is from Yak Hacker, and a lot of them will allow you to have these little bungees on the back that attach to your seat. So make sure you get one that does that. That way it's out of the way and uh, right behind you. And if you get one that's insulated, it's great. You put a bunch of ice in there. If you wanna keep your fish, if you wanna keep some beers or seltzer waters or food in there, it's a great option to make a long day in the water more enjoyable. And number 19 is a two-way radio. So these are cheap, you can get them on Amazon and it's a much easier way of talking to your buddies on the water. Uh, versus the alternative. So you can yell at them in, over really long distances or you can call them over your phone and then you gotta get your phone out and your fingers are wet and stinky and everything else. So this two-way radio uh, really solves all those issues. It, and a lot of them, they have these clips that clip right into your uh, the clip on your life jacket. Uh, so it's really nice and portable and out of the way. You can also use it for if your wife or your spouse comes with you and they're in the car or they're on the shore and you wanna communicate with them, two-way radio is the way to go. Item number 20, only five more to go after this, is a headlamp. So this is like a $2 headlamp uh, that I use for when I'm getting ready for tournaments early in the morning or if I'm setting up and the sun hasn't come up yet uh, at the launch. A little, a little one like this will clip on right to your hat and you just turn it on and boom. And it's angled too, so if I wanna work in front of me, I could bring it down you know, I'll look like a nerd, but this is very useful. They have better, you can get better ones for sure. Again, I'll link all of this below so you guys can take a look at it, but this is great for early, early morning fishing or late fishing as well. Number 21, I mentioned this before and I'll mention it again, get tethers for your important items. So while I don't recommend tethering your rods for all the reasons I mentioned earlier, get rod floats for that. Uh, tethers are great for keeping other things on your boat that you want. So I use this for my GoPro case and I connect it to my crate that way 
if, it, if the case were to fall over or blow over with the wind, uh, it's not going anywhere. Also, like I mentioned, for the catch board, this is a great option to have, and they're very inexpensive, so you can secure your gear to your kayak. Number 22 is a no-brainer, fishing pliers. So you can get regular pliers like these that have worked very well for me, uh, or you can get fishing ones, but these are great for cutting line, for taking hooks out of the fish's mouth. There's not any fishing trip that I don't use these for some occasion, so definitely recommend these. Number 23 is an anchor. So this is just a mushroom anchor, but they have deployable ones, the ones that kind of fold like a claw. Um, and it's great for river fishing, especially if you really have to stay locked into a place, you'll want to use that. I haven't used it on lakes just because I have my pedal drive and it more or less keeps me where I want to be at. But if you don't have a pedal drive, an anchor is where it's at. Number 24, we got two left, is a pair of boundary boots. You're gonna say that is not a kayak fishing accessory. I will disagree because these things are life. All right, so these, these are, first of all, I got big feet, I know. But they are awesome for keeping your feet nice and dry. I've used this out when we've had like 40 degree water temperatures and you can't feel nothing in there. So I have a pair of wool socks. They stay completely dry right up to like the middle of my calf. And uh, they're great. They're about $110 to $120, depending where you get them. They're totally waterproof from the bottom to the top. And they're comfortable. It's like wearing a sneaker. So if you're out there and you don't like getting your feet wet, I don't mind getting them wet in the summer. But anytime that the water's cold, I really don't like it. These things are a lifesaver. And last but certainly not least, number 25 is small but important. It is cam straps. So these are not ratchet straps. If you've seen some of my videos before, I go over why I don't use ratchet straps. You want a pair of cam straps. You want a bunch of cam straps. So you can tie down your kayak, tie down your gear, tie down your accessories. Uh, these are always useful. And the difference is gonna be in the buckle here. This is what makes it a cam strap. And it only allows you to tighten it uh, as much as you can by, by your own strength versus a ratchet that allow you to keep cranking it and you start breaking plastic and busting rivets and everything else. All right, guys, that wraps up our list of the 25 most important kayak fishing accessories. Let me know in the comments below uh, what I missed, what you take out with you on the water, uh, what's your must-have items that you never go without. And that's all I have, guys. Till next time, peace and God bless.